if you need to just be like, why'd you start recording then? <laughs> Should I go? Just be cute. Be cute? I don't know how to be cute. You know. <laughs> okay. Good? Good? Okay. Hello. Welcome back to the Up Until YouTube channel. I'm Dawn from RuPaul's Drag Race season 16. And last week, I put my mother in drag. However, it wasn't like a tutorial. And the number one thing that I get on like any of my social media channels is that people want to know how to paint like me. And it's so interesting to me to see like the processes that y'all do. So I'm here today to give you the official, the gag worthy, the premier and notable Dawn makeup routine technique tutorial and we're gonna get into it. Today I am getting ready to shoot my fans runway look which I so horrifically did not get to wear on Paul's Drag Race unfortunately. But listen, episode 14, only four people got to wear it and I'm not one of them, that's fine. I can deal with that, I can deal with that. Um, you know, actually, I was so pissed because they told us that the fans runway was gonna be used for episode 12 and then, like, two hours later, they were like, just kidding, it's gonna be chains. I was pissed! I would've gone home anyway, though, so it's fine. I don't like it when you don't laugh when I say fun things. It makes me feel insecure. On that note, I'm gonna whip it around, start going down my eyebrows, let's go! Let's go! Is this different than this? Just keep doing that. First things first when you're doing Dawn makeup is you have to get comfortable. I am a very high strung, high anxiety individual, okay? Off the shoes, undo the belt thing, and get a wig cap on to get all your pretty little hair out of your pretty little face. And just for the sake of the fact that I am on camera today, I will be wearing a backwards cap as well just so I look like less of an idiot. Can you watch the whole video before you try to do it yourself? Because I don't want you to get in here and be like, I don't have that. First things first, we're gonna glue down our brows. The way that I glue down my brows, I believe I first followed a pearl tutorial way back in the day, because I have quite bushy eyebrows, is I really just lather them the fuck up. And then I find one of my mini brushes. Obviously I'm very well organized. <laughs> And then take it from, starting from the top of the eyebrow, you just want to brush up and then working your way down. Just keeps it nice and smooth. Lick a finger and then just clean up the edges a little bit. And then that's your first layer. Keep doing that for both sides. Let it dry between. Um, and I do that three times. And then the fourth time, we add a little flavor. While I'm waiting on my brows to dry between layers, go ahead and apply some primer to that beautiful, beautiful skin that you have. So you get a nice, clean, smooth brow cover. Okay. Lick the brow. Lick the stick to make it nice and gummy and smooth. Mm -hmm. And then goon while you do it. Mm. Take a powder puff and dip it in that white. Okay. Get it nice and looped up gently. Press that into the top wet layer of glue. Then go ahead and just brush all that away. I have this little palette, okay? And today, for my fans photo shoot, I'm painting myself green. Get a big brush. I usually like to start on my nose. I've found that it's just the easiest for blending later to get the nose contour out of the way. I'm doing my nose contour now. I'm actually going to bring out a second one of these palettes. This one is a CC Beauty Professional Face and Body Paint. For this green, I want to be a bit more earthy. I might even get some brown in there because I'm kind of going for Swamp Girl a little bit. Shrek. Shrek, if you will. And what I'll do is I'll start right at the bridge of my nose, like right on the side of the hump. Just really delicately do a straight line and kind of smooth that out a bit. But I'll go in and smooth it more with my finger in a bit. All right, my nose contour is rarely, if ever, perfectly even. Not as bad as tricks. 
And then take the white. I breathe on it to warm it up. <laughs> Gently cover the brows because you don't want to pull up the glue. Very delicately. Don't mess up that nose contour. So what I do now is I go and I just draw out the shape of the lid that I want to do. And for the purposes of this, we're just going to do a very classic, normal, current Dawn eye. So the color palette of this outfit is very kind of like muted tones. So I think I'm gonna just go in with like a brown eye, like a neutral tone, but it's not gonna give neutral tone because it's on green skin, you know? Up. So at this point, I have just added the shape of the eye that I want to do. Um, this does not have to be clean. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna go in with the eyeliners and like really fix it up. But this, you just wanna have a good solid base. It'll make putting the eyeshadow on much easier and way quicker. Um, so once I get the lines down for the shape of the crease, in the under eye, I start expanding it however I want to. And the thing about my makeup is that I often have a very similar eye. However, I like to adjust the shape very subtly in different ways. But all I'm doing right now is just adding product to give myself a base. You could call this part underpainting. The wing is always tilted up. Before I got on the show, and in those first couple episodes of the show, I did my wings directly out. And after getting back, I decided that I just didn't like that anymore. And I feel like this adds a level of like ferocity and clunt to my makeup, so I like it. Underrated makeup product is your fingers. We're now going to go in and do the rest of the foundation around this eye shape. So the first thing that I do when I'm using a color is I go around my beard area with a white. Um, TV Paint Stick by Kryolan. These products just aren't really heavy enough to like cover that area, and so adding this as a base allows the pigment to be a bit stronger and also to cover up my beard. Take that big brush, get your little product on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and just mix in some white right now just to like dilute that a little bit, and then just Go to town. Pick that and just blend. Once you feel like you have a pretty good base, I like to go in with the contour, go in with the contour color that I was using before, which today is gonna be this kind of mixture of the brown, blue, and green that I'm doing. Um, very art finger painty. And I like to, ooh, that's a little dark, but we'll blend it. Okay, we're literally doing Shrek today. That's crazy. And then I'm also gonna go in, I probably shouldn't use that, oh well. With some, get that cheek contour. Then I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is Kimchi Chic The Most Concealer in the color Solid White. <laughs> and this is when you really get to reshape that bone structure. So I just add white concealer to the high points of the face or perhaps the constructed high points, um, which basically just for me means under the eye that you've just created. And then you just wanna bend that out. Very, very delicately. And then the parts under the eye and in the crease here, I usually like to get in with my finger because it's a little easier to keep the color separated. Okay, so we're back. Hi, editor Don here. Um, you may notice I have a bunch of product on my forehead now. That is because I accidentally did that off camera. So just the same way that you applied it here, apply it there. Okay. Yay. It'll be fine. You got it. 
Disclaimer, highly recommend that if you're gonna try this makeup, do it in like a blue or a pink. The method is very much the same. Um, I'm doing green just because I'm shooting my fans look today. By all means, do whatever color you want. Don't, don't, don't feel like you have to do green because I'm doing green. Like it works no matter what. Next step is we are going to take a neutral setting powder. Very delicately. You're just going to attack your face with neutral powder. <laughs> just take a big fluffy brush and wipe it off. Then you wanna take your wipe and go ahead and start baking your tea. So. And then today, I did my nose contour a little dark, so I'm gonna also just put it here. Now I'm gonna go in and do eyeshadow. I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam, and I'll usually start with kind of like a mid-tone of what I'm going for. And it should take form pretty quickly and easily because we laid that base down already. You just wanna make sure that you're blending it into the rest of your complexion nicely. Once you've gotten the base kind of outline of what you wanna do, now I like to go in with the same brush and I'll go into the darker colors that I'm gonna use up close to my eye. I try to lean forward a little bit too because I feel like it helps with fallout. I'll even go as far as getting some black eyeshadow in there. You know, honestly, I really learned to do my makeup by watching tutorials like this. Those old tutorials that they used to post on the Drag Race YouTube channel after a queen got eliminated. Um, I watched Sasha Velour's on repeat. Oh, and me and Sasha actually have a very similar bone structure in that she has this really prominent brow bone that you can see here. So I would watch hers all the time because I felt like I was watching someone do makeup on a face that resembled mine. It's just about done. I'm just gonna go in very gently with some black eyeshadow and smoke out the edges here. And I also like to take some and go right here at the tippy tip corner of the eye, like where it curved. This kind of adds that real gentle, soft, dainty feeling <laughs> that you all have come to know and love from me. Just soft, dainty never assuming or biting in any capacity. My makeup journey on Drag Race, honestly, was so interesting to me. I feel like I knew that they were gonna say something about it, which they did. That critique was not just elf ear, it was also very like, you know, change the face, whatever. Um, I think Michelle said specifically, like, show us glamour. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do in one of these really much lighter tones over here, maybe this one, just smoke out the bottom into that very, very bright light green that we have there. And then I think I'll also do that on top. So on the show, they just gave me this critique to like do glamour, you know? And at the time, I kind of didn't really know what that looked like for Dawn. So all I really did <laughs> while on the show was like look at Morphine's makeup and like try to copy it as much as I could. Um, and then add my like own little Dawn twists. And honestly, that critique and that experimentation has changed the way that I do makeup even now. I just feel like I'm much more focused on like the, the, the beauty that comes with these exaggerated shapes. You know, I feel like before I was much more interested in just like, I'm a clown cause I'm a clown. Okay, well I can be a more beautiful clown, I guess. Is like, I, I, I take it with me a lot. And especially like, not even in like the eye shape, but like in the contouring and the highlighting and like everything. Like it, it's, it's more than just that. Well, that's the thing about Drag Race was I was very, very like kind of in my own shell. I'm not the most like extroverted, I guess. So it was like, I'm not someone who's gonna like show up to the party and be like, let's be fucking friends, you know? But in a situation like that, where like, these are all people that I'm like actually like very, very genuinely interested in like building a relationship and building a rapport with. So like when I had these critiques and times where I like wanted to make changes or whatever, I didn't really take them to anybody because, um, it, would, it was for me, I guess, you know? I was just like too, I don't know. So I kind of forgot to talk for a minute, but basically all I've been doing is contouring around my chin and my cheek and my forehead. 
with a contouring shade, which today is this kind of bluey, greeny thing. It's getting a little dark, so I'm also gonna go in with some of this kind of limey color. And you know what I might even do, actually? Sometimes if things like this, like I've, I've painted on a little, a little, little, little dark, I'm gonna take my neutral set and just kind of try to wash it out a little bit. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it just kind of takes some of the intensity out of it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do some blush. And I think my blush color for today is gonna be a bit of like an orangey brown. Cause you gotta think about your face is green. So like a pink blush is not always going to be appropriate. It's all about color theory, Diva. Now that we have our base and our eyeshadow nice and down, now is the time where we're going to carve out that iconic white lid shape. The main things to remember here are one, that you wanna have a really good pomade, creamy white eyeliner. You want something that is gonna be really high coverage because as you can see, I haven't cleaned up any of these kind of nasty parts, but I'm just gonna go right over them with my white and hope that it, well, I know that it will, but I'm gonna hope that it um, just covers it nicely. Now this part is sometimes it's a real pain in the ass. So I have a nice clean brush, wide brush, and I'm hoping that we can bang this up. I like to start facing directly forward to get the proper shape that I want. Oh, I think it might be easy today. That went on really nicely. This is where I really try to uh, bring in the, the precision and the, um, the cleanliness. The bottom is always harder though. This is also the point where you can kind of get your own artistic expression in with it because you can do it bigger on the bottom, you can do it smaller on the bottom, you can adjust the shape. I think today we're going for like a nice medium and maybe like an in-between what I've been doing recently and what I showed up to Drag Race doing. Cause when I showed up to Drag Race, I was actually painting pretty small. And recently I've been getting really, really big. <laughs> Especially in this corner here, you do not need to worry too much about the precision. Cause one, it's just really hard because that's where the eye wrinkles the most. And also because I'm gonna take a black eyeliner from here all the way up and just clean that line up. From here to here, I want it to look like a semicircle. It's very round and very round, very semicircle. From here to here, I want it to look like a triangle. So it has this really nice teardrop to it. Finish the first layer of that, and sometimes just to like <laughs> calm my own nerves, I'll take whatever eye eyeshadow is here and just go ahead and clean it up a little bit, even though I know I'm gonna do this later too. Nice, gorgeous. All right, now we're gonna do the left eye. But I just devour Christiana Slava. This is giving symmetrical enough. And so now, since this side is now dry, I'm gonna go in with a second coat of that. Silly little frillies with my elf ears on. I'll take a clean brush or one that I only use for this. As the product is drying, Give it a little bit of sense. All right, fun, 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 fun. Okay, and then also sometimes when you powder it with white, it can take some of the dimension out of the shadow. But I think because we're doing like browns here, it doesn't really matter that. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with a fresh NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I keep like four of these brand new on standby. First, I like to start on the bottom. See, this is where we're really trying to clean up that shape. Start drawing out the shape of the shadow that we want to do. I'm also going to go ahead and pull the eyeliner wing up. And then connect those and fill that in. Then I like to do this while it's still pretty wet. Take a flat brush, but it also works if you just use a little brush like this. And load that up with black eyeshadow and then just tap it around that edge. 
to not only set the eyeliner, but also diffuse that line. And this is where having a lot of that black eye shadow in place already really, really helps to diffuse that line. Because you're not really doing a lot of the bandwidth and the, the, the work that you would be doing otherwise. Um, now we're gonna go in and do that on the other side. So my nose started running, so I put this in there, just FYI. Uh, so now we're gonna go and do the exact same thing that we did around the bottom of the eyelid, and we're gonna do it around the top. However, I'm going to consolidate it mostly to this top left corner. A lot of the Dawn eyeliner, or eye in general, is about these really sharp, sharp, sharp contrasts. So we have the very intense black eyeliner on top and bottom contrasted with the white in the middle. And then we also have the sharpness of the point with the, the softness of the round inner eye. And now we're gonna go in and do the actual eyeliner eyeliner. So first thing is I do this inner corner part here. Today I want the makeup to be softer, more dainty. So I'm doing a small little line. Then I do this arch right here. Take this line and build it all the way out. these dots too. There is some nuance in the shapes and the ways that you want to connect these things, but that is more dependent on your bone structure. And I fill in these shapes. Gone with the wind, I'm fabulous. These mother talking girls can't handle us. Breaking wind, serving fashion, acting up like Rousset action. So after I fill in all of that, I just go in with some mascara. The eye is done. So now we must do the eye brow. I'm just going to take this lovely palette back out and dip in with a at least semi-clean flat brush like this and just go right into the white. Also kind of get to decide here, do you want to do a big arched brow? Do you want to do a sad brow? White powder with a little white brush. Just set that nice and good. And I always do my brow with a black eyeliner. You start on a, you start with a light press and then get heavier and then loose again. Something I've been doing a lot lately <clears throat> is taking Anastasia brow pens. I believe this one's in granite. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty dark. And I've been just adding teeny tiny little hairs just to give it some extra texture, make it look a little less cartoon. Now, I don't know why I like to do this before the lip, because I have to go back and do it with the lip too. But I'm just gonna add a little line across my nose, little. Highlight under the eye. Brow. Go with the wind and fabulous. These mother tucker girls can't handle us. Breaking wind, serving fashion. Okay, so first thing I like to do, I've been doing my lip a little bit smaller than I used to. So what I'll do usually is start in the middle right here. Okay. And then just overdraw the slightest bit, mostly right over your cupid's brow, bow. <laughs> and then once you're up there, just kind of taper it right down to the corner of your lip. On the show, I was overdrawing like up to here, and I keep it much smaller now, much, much, much smaller. Then take a black eyeliner pen, same one that you did your eye with. To try to come out of the corner of your lip at like a 45 degree angle almost like up and out, not out. Like if here is the corner of your lip, right? If here's the corner of your lip, you wanna go up and out like that, not out and up. 
like that. Okay, so now that you have all of the pieces here, you have to connect them. I'll kind of go about like halfway down this slope and just like continue that shape, round it out. Lovely! You kind of just fill in the corners with all black. Okay. You kind of want to take the black eyeshadow pretty far up to where your natural lip bends, because that'll keep that shadow hidden. Okay, then I'm using a NYX liquid suede in brown, and I'm just gonna fill it all in. All right, then with a mixture of my finger and my eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna kinda merge these two worlds to get a nice blended lip color. Gone with the wind, I'm fabulous. Mother talking girl can't handle us. Once your lip is nice and blended, depending on the color shade that I use, I will sometimes go in with a concealer that's really light. This is just like a NYX one. That just gives it that real dimensionality to it. So now we're gonna go in and finish up some highlight details. Dot, little dot, 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 dot. Okay. And then depending on the look, I'll usually mix up the, the freckle situation, but I almost always do one big white one right there. One big white one right there. And then one in right between my eyes. Dig it in there. Don't wanna look like an idiot. Fucking pink ears popping out. My God. Okay. Okay. That has been the entirety of the makeup process. At this point, I'm going to set my face, glue on some lashes, and get the full look on, and I'll be back, baby. Hi. Hello. I'm back. I put on eyelashes. I put on this whole look. This is, in fact, my fan's runway from season 16, episode 14, that I did not get to participate in. Um, you know, I think I would have much rather shown this look rather than the chains one, but, you know, live and learn and die along the way. So that's just how it is. Um, thank you so much for joining along on this little makeup tutorial. Please, if you do your own Dawn makeup, tag me, let me see it, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I have no plans on stopping content anytime soon. I have found throughout this whole journey that this is something that I really love and that I really enjoy. Um, so yeah, thanks for stopping by, um, like, comment, subscribe, and see you later!